Well, what I have here is a GPX boombox. Uh, got it for free. The CD player and the tape decks currently... Uh, well, one side currently doesn't work. The CD player doesn't work. At first, both decks didn't work. The belts were snapped. Uh, I'd rather take that than having to deal with all that goo crap from melted belts. So replacing them was easy. However, there is something up with the uh, take-up spool. When you have it in play, you can see those moving. If I can get a focus on it. But that's not. And it's just a two-belt system. And it's like you can hear clicking. So either there's a gear out of place or it's... Yeah, it's like jammed or something. But when I pause it while it's in play, it spins freely. So I can't qu quite play a tape because it won't. Yeah, it won't. Uh, seems like it wants to go the wrong way too. That's funny. It won't spin. But this side's fine now. So. And I will play a little bit of the no copyright music. Let's rewind it first. There's a there's a, another um, group on YouTube, um, Vlog No Copyright Music, something like that. And uh, they do the same as the uh, people that uh, I used to. Well, I still get music from them, but when I first got music from YouTube, it was from um, NCS No Copyright Sounds. Now the belts I replaced aren't new belts, they're all I had. So there's still a little bit of wow and flutter, but it plays. Rewinds and fast forwards, and that's pretty much for now. That's all that matters for now. Until I can figure out what's wrong with this side. So that side is good for now. Gonna work on the recording side, and as for CD, yeah. Oh, huh, good. It actually worked. Maybe I just needed to friggin' uh, warm up a bit. Well, <laughs> that actually makes me a lot happier. I don't have to friggin' mess with the CD portion of it. Thank God. Yeah, I know, it made me look like a fucking idiot, but you know what? <laughs> it didn't work at first. Let's see if it even plays. Seems like it doesn't want to. Seems like it's... Hold on. So, it's not quite doing what it's supposed to. It read the CD, that's a good thing. But it isn't quite uh, playing it. Anyway, while it tries to find its spot, we got classic jazz rock and vocal equalizers, pre-equalizers. You got your CD, yeah, fast and normal for tape play and your radio. This is your FM station. Speaking of radio. 
requires new auto re-up enrollment by 9-30-19. Credit card and simple mobile account required for enrollment. 23... I don't even have the antenna all the way out. Picks up some pretty good stations with, the, that they're very with, with the antenna, to, antenna all the way in, for. all the way out. Let's see if There. Now let's try. Whatever, but the blue emu. I used to hit dingers and throw lasers. I had a long and healthy career in baseball. Welcome to Chief. Promotion is talking about. Okay, well, let's see how AM does. That doesn't sound nice. But he might need, he might need to go see a therapist. He you would go see a therapist. Yeah, don't get much for AM reception up this way. Actually, you know what? Let's try this. While it's playing, I mean, while it's reading, let's see if I can keep it spinning. Spinning very slow as if the lasers is at the end of the outer the outer end of the disc. Weird. Cause you, I can, you can see it clearly going back too, so I don't know what's going on. Nope. It's going to the outer edge and staying there. And it's supposed to start on the inner part of the disc. That is very weird. Let me get a normal disc. Maybe it's having trouble reading any burn CDs because it's from 1999 and back then not uh, many C players were reading anything but standard compact discs. <clears throat> We've already said ah, there we go. Okay, well, that might have been why then. It's just not com fully compatible with burned CDRs. Okay, well that makes sense. Uh, yeah. It is very slow at finding... There it goes. Let's fast forward. Oh, I actually can't. Usually you can have a fast forward along with it. This does not seem to have a fast forward function, unless I'm not seeing it. Because you're supposed to hold it, and it's not, so. Okay, well, anyway, sweet. The C player works, the one tape deck works. That's uh, a good start. I'll have to worry about the next, the other deck later. I'm friggin' getting ready for bed, so. Yeah, so that's that. I don't even know what model number this is. Let me guess. It's looking me right in the face, too, and I don't even see it. <laughs> that t t technically, typically happens. Well, I don't know. I don't see it. So I'll just flip it around. Usually it's on the sticker, too. Yeah. GPX model. And it's blurry, but it's, uh, it's Q914. Made in 1999. Okay. Well, that's that free boombox it's almost 100% working uh, I love how my phone will not focus even with the flashlight all right well that's that later